What's going on everyone and welcome back to the channel. Got something I've been looking forward to checking out. Um, I reached out to the company and was trying to get like a, a loaner model but I wasn't able to. But I was able to find someone else who had one and from the past round group and obviously got one. So this thing I hear nothing but great stuff about. Let's get into that in a second. Um, I've been kind of curious about Crispy Donut community. I um, might See, keep seeing their knives. I know they've been going through some stuff lately about sprinkles with um, what was it Blade HQ, something like that. Something about someone, something about someone owning sprinkles and they're not allowed to do sprinkles. I don't know. It's kind of crazy, you know. It's that this is a crazy world we live in, you know. But you know, that's all right. But so they've had to change a few things around. So I obviously I wanted to check out their stuff. Uh, they got a crispy donut community card EDC Central's Drew Denton. Oh, that's the, okay. Those are the guys that own the co own the company. So you got their Facebook, probably the website, and then the Instagram right there. And this is a Patience Zero crispy donut community EDC Essentials the Outbreak exclusive. That's right, because it's the Outbreak. That's what this is called. I forgot. Official bunker access card and in case of emergency, scan this card to enter the bunker. All right. Well, how about we just check out the knife and, you know, do that first, right? I believe this is also Magna Cut. I don't know the price point on it. Um, I don't know if these were real expensive or not. I, honestly, I cannot remember. Um, didn't really want to check. I, I, I don't know. At first, I didn't really want to check it out because the jimping I thought looked a little goofy. Not really my style of jimping, I guess you could say. That's not me knocking the knife or anything like that. Cause I actually do like the color scheme with the silver and the black. I, I don't know why. I like, I like kind of like the reverse tux look. Now, if they had a black blade, that would be phenomenal. That's all right, though. Um, you have a nice little satin blade. Let me get a cloth real quick. I don't know. It just wasn't something that necessarily caught my eye. Like, I wanted to check it out, but I just, I don't know. I do like this version better than like the sprinkly, like colorful version, stuff like that. I'm not really big into that. I was kind of here and there. Like I have a flashlight, like an O light like that. And then my, I bought a, it's a Civivi Elementum Dessert Warrior. And I kind of bought that because I wanted to get it to my daughter one day, you know, probably next year or two, whatever. So I'm not really into the sprinkle too much. But let's check out this. Oops. Well, every way though, you have your thumb studs, you have your rear flipper. They all open pretty well. I really like the thumb stud though, reverse flick. I, I don't know why I always have like longer thumbnails because it's a lot. Honestly, because I can't freaking pull them off. <laughs> I can't pull off thumbnails. So they're always a tad bit longer and I hate that because I just, I don't know why it's not like it takes long to clip them right. But I kind of have problems sometimes see it flicking it's because it doesn't want it my thumbnail doesn't want to go under there all the time when there's freaking a smidge long i guess it's a little longer than i want it to be but it's just a pain in the butt but reverse flick and that rear flipper tab is phenomenal great jumping on that i very not a very aggressive but aggressive enough i'm not going to slip off and i can really kind of fling it open but that reverse flick is pretty nice. Uh, pocket clip is not bad. Kind of tight, but not bad. Uh, got a nice little ramp right there, so you won't have too many problems. Hopefully getting that in your jeans or your pants or whatever. Um, deep carry-ish. You obviously got a little bit out there because it is probably titanium. I'm sure this whole thing's titanium. Probably a titanium backspacer. Kind of skeletonized on the inside to help with weight reduction. I, like the th I really do like the thumb studs, though, being black. And then you have like the... Uh, the other access or access accessories, you know, stuff like that being black. Uh, Magna Cut, so it is Magna Cut, so not bad. Everybody loves Magna Cut. I'm more of a Van X kind of guy myself, but Magna Cut's not bad though. It is good steel. Uh, jumping though, I just I don't know about it, you know. And I always wondered like, why the heck is it way out here? I don't get that. Is it that's got to be just for looks, right? This for aesthetics because I feel like that just doesn't make sense to me so it's got to be for looks because if your thumbs that long man 
I don't even know what you would use it for. I guess you can kind of use this to choke back on with your finger like that. No, it doesn't work like that. I would light myself up if I did that. So, I don't know. But I don't mind this right here. That was actually a good idea. Because in case you're right here, you still got the jimping right here. You got jimping right here. So, I really like that. I liked how they did put those there. Those, that was really smart, I think. Instead of just putting a little bit right here on the actual blade itself and just calling it quits, they put some right here. Because everybody's hands are different. So, some people like to do this choke up back here. Or just, I like to choke up right there. And it, honestly, it's perfect. I love it. You got a little bit of jimping right there for gripping and everything like that. And if you look, it's kind of cool. They went all the way through the backspacer and the actual handle itself. So that was a cool little touch right there. You got a nice little lanyard hole right there. So overall, pretty solid knife. I really don't know the price point on this. I'm assuming probably over $200. Just don't know exactly what. Let's carry on though. Carry, carry on to my baby right here. It's not exactly the version I wanted, but that's all right. I'll live. I'm getting to check it out, right? I just really want to check out that black version. Maybe I'll be able to afford it one day. You'll probably see it on all my freaking videos. Because it just looks like a dope knife. Plus the OEM is um, bossed, so. Uh, so you got a little cleaning cloth, a little sticker. I will say one thing right off the bat. I thought it was bigger. Going to be bigger. So that's a little... A little weird, I guess. I don't know. I really thought it was going to be bigger. I guess it's not like small, but it's not big. It's a very good average size knife, I guess. Um, yeah, good lord, that's smaller than I thought. It's kind of crazy. It just looks very compact, but it's, it's obviously not. Uh, it opens very well, though. You have that nice little hole right there. To flick that open. Oh, I can even get my thumb in there. Dude, this thing's awesome. Very nice. Very solid and smooth. Like, uh, it's a very good combination. Like, especially when you're flicking it open, it's just like a solid feel to it as you do it. And when it closes, like, you just feel it lock and feel it. It's, it feels solid. Um, it's, it's smooth. Yeah, like it's graceful almost. Um, Got to make sure that button is engaged all the way in though. Not bad. When it's out, when the blade's uh, out, so it's just a little bit past the flush, obviously, showing just the hairball out, which is nice too, so you're not like worrying about hitting it or anything like that. Dude, this is actually... Well, I, okay, what the one thing I also really like about this thing, besides everything, <laughs> obviously... Is the big old freaking finger twirl right there. That's what I saw. When I first saw it, I was like, that's awesome. And then when I first saw also, like when I saw it all together, I guess, like the three little grooves right here. If you got the finger twirl and you got these two. And I'm like, man, if my fingers fit perfect in there, that would probably be freaking almost knife of the year. Just how phenomenal it is. And it definitely, it, it feels great in hand. No joke. I freaking love this thing. It feels so good. Because it also, like, obviously I could choke up and I could use it right here. Normal. No big deal. Hands just fine on it. But if you got a bigger hand, man, just choke up a little bit and you are good to go. And I didn't even say the name of this. This is the Tyconic One. And it's a new brand. Tyconic One. Can't remember who are... <sighs> Jeff something. I don't know. They're, they're pretty well-known designers. I can't remember. I'll have that in the... There's no information in the box or anything, was there? Nope, nope, so no information, that's all right though, I guess, I'll get that for you in the final review, but yeah, this thing's, let's actually get into some information, right, it's besides this eyeballing it and Googling it, googly eyeing it, you have an M390 uh, steel right there, obviously pretty good, I really love the orbital, the orbital like milling on it, it's really cool, reminds me of the Devo Tallboy, kind of the same way with carbon, except with carbon fiber, um, Got a lanyard hole right there a little bit. That thumb, that finger hole right there, phenomenal. Works very well. You have a blue backspacer with the blue pivots, pivot collars. Just to add a little bit of flavor to it. A little bit of flavor. Um, and obviously this is their top lock, compression lock from a uh, Vosteed. 
I think this is going to become very, 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 very popular because already more companies are are doing it. I got Voss Teed. You got other companies doing their like variation of it. I think Kaiser has the mini grouper, kind of like that. So it's becoming popular. Um, I think it's the mini grouper. I think it's, yeah, I think so. Uh, but this thing, pretty freaking phenomenal. Jimping on it. Let's try it out. Uh, not bad. Not slick, but not like aggressive at the same time. So it feels pretty good. Definitely get a good pinch in there between your thumb and your index finger. So it's not real bad at freaking all. So pretty phenomenal. I'll have to do a final review over this very soon. Oh, I like the pocket clip too. I really do. Lots of access right there. So you're plenty good for your pockets. No problems there. It is a little tight. Obviously, that's kind of normal. Titanium. I just like the really kind of like the hollowed out look. I think that's awesome looking. Dude, come on. And I believe this is for a pretty good price. I think like $250. Somewhere around there. I really want to check out that black one still. I'm going to try to get that figured out how I can get my hands on one. So you might be seeing more videos if I can. But super dope knife. I uh, really like this. You have to make sure you really engage that compression lock though. Which ain't a hard, you know, hard thing to do. Just make sure you get your finger on it. Because if you kind of hit it right here. Like I, that's what I was kind of doing at first. I was kind of putting my finger right here and kind of hitting obviously this spot right here and then have to roll it at the same time, which is kind of a pain in the butt. But other than that though, phenomenal life. Check one out. Tyconic one. Um, yeah, dope. If you have any questions, comments, let me know in the comment section. If you guys like the video, leave a thumbs up. Thanks.